Hey, friends and family, this is Dark Wolf. I'm here with my setup that I made. Yes. With my two sets of dice. Some miniatures that can't fit in that box, but that one and that one can fit in that box, but I'm too lazy to put it in there. And all, as you can tell, these are Dungeon Dragon miniatures. Now, let me put this camera down. Okay. I've gotten some of these boxes before, but today I'm doing a comparison video. Oh, and I forgot to do something. Oh, I gotta get in this box. And everything falls. <laughs> Is my angel okay? Yeah. Ah, you okay. Move out of the way. Because this is a comparison video, um, I'm going to get one of the best ones I painted, which is a Minotaur. Uh, I personally thought think it's the best one I've painted. But um, some people say it's something else. Oh. Now this thing isn't wanting to stand. I had this standing just a second ago. Why won't you stand? There you go, stand. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, um... Painted this myself. It's a Reaper Bones miniature. And the reason why I'm showing this off... Because I'm doing a box opening and comparing the two. The Dungeon & Dragons Tomb of Annihilation and Pathfinder Maze of Death. Yes, I'm going to be opening both of these and comparing them both uh, on quality, painting, and whatnot. And I'm going to be doing the same thing with this, which he's a bit bent, and I tried to fix it. Can't. I kind of got him fixed, but not that much. Uh, he was more bending down where he falls down constantly. Fixed it where it's like that, and I'm just like, ah, screw it. So let's put him out of the side, and let's do Maze of Death. I've gotten two of these boxes before. I really love the miniatures that I've gotten in it. Ah, there we go. Now, this is the heaviest Maze of Death that I've found. Oh, oh. Uh, some kind of sea dragon. Oh, it's one of those twisty things. Lovely. Got a twist. Twist. Ugh. Trying to make sure I don't break the miniature in the process. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, sea drake. Which, drakes are a type of dragon. Oh, I like how the tail wraps around the clear piece. Where it makes it look like it's flying. Hold on. Yeah. Camera's not focusing very well. It's got some translucent uh, wings here. Now, that's a really good pull. I really enjoy that. Uh, the only dragon that I have... Is this Reaper Bones one that I painted, and I want it to be very colorful, so I put a bunch of different colors on them. Now, you always get three different miniatures in these packets, so let's open these up. Bubble wrap. So, I got this plant thing that looks really cool. Um, Mind Fund. I, if I pronounce these names wrong, I'm sorry. So, a plant monster... I've gotten a plant, oh, huh, me of a plant monster, got another plant monster here um, that I already pulled out of this, uh, one of these boxes before, a purple fungus. I've gotten one of these before, and um, the next one uh, looks like another familiar miniature that I have, but... I've also been wanting another one of this. Oh, damn. Once tape's being a butt. And my cat is here. 
Hopefully he doesn't get in the way. Alright, yeah. I got an, one of these already. The Lizard Folk uh, Mirborn. You stupid cat! Oh no! Oh, my cat broke it! Oh! Oh! Oh, my cat broke it! He does not care. You broke the very first dragon I got out of one of these boxes. How could you? Oh. Oh, no. I was so happy to pull this out. Oh, that just, that ruins the value of it. Oh. Oh. God damn it, cat. Hopefully I can fix it. Oh, damn it. Overall, I've already gotten these two figures. This was a good pull until my cat broke it. All right, let's go for the next one. The Tomb of Annihilation. Oh, because I wasted so much time complaining about that. St Ugh, stupid cat. All right. Um, got one of these. Don't care. Oh, I, I, come on. A Drake. It's one of my first Drakes, and... He breaks it. Ugh. Oh, and I can't get this thing out. And I break that. All the big stuff is breaking. Oh, no! Well, he wasn't on there that good, apparently. Uh, well, it, it was good in the package. That one... Oh, he just sits there, apparently. Packaging. Not right. It's a lep. Mm. Okay, it's a leopard with snakes around his head. I'm just throwing stuff around now. His name, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, uh, but I have to. Uh, Cam Edan, Cam Edan. However, overall, both big figs broke. One because of my cat. One because. It was packaging. Yeah. Not my fault. Alright, let's open the others. The small ones. Oh. God damn it, I've got a lot of fixing to do. Oh. I was actually kind of hoping to get one of these. Uh, it's the Tebex Hunter. My sister plays as one of these, but I don't have a miniature of it. Now I do. There you go, Tara. Uh, so, cat person. Uh, all right. I have this one already. Um, he's a bit bent. The uh, Cthulian zombie, something zombie. I really enjoy zombies. You can't get enough zombies. And I love that cat person. Now this, um, looks like some kind of lobster thing. It's weird. Oh! Uh, old Indian? Old Indian? However you pronounce that? Don't get on to me because I'm pronouncing his names wrong. He's like uh, some kind of lobster man. Pretty cool. Let's start comparing. 
Really nice pool, easy to get out of the box of this big one, but my cat broke it. Hard to get out of the box, and it broke in the process. But I love the different detail on that. And look at that. I like that. I love the paint job on that. So, Dungeons and Dragons, you you did a good job. And with the translucent wings, uh, the painting around the face is excellent. Everywhere, everywhere else is a bit dull, but it's shiny, and I love that. And I like it how the tail wraps around the clear piece. So, that... It's really good on their part. Um, I absolutely love the paint job on the Mirborn Lizard Folk. That's the reason why I wanted it. Plus, it looks like Godzilla from the 90s. That 90s Godzilla movie. Purple Fungus, it's a bit plain, but you could see the roots uh, very detailed on the rock. Uh, the mine fund plant. Eh, the paint job's alright. I'm probably going to be touching it up a bit. Yeah, uh, I really like the quality of the Pathfinder miniatures more than the, uh, Dungeon Dragons quality. But the Dungeon Dragons does excellent detail, like, that uh, leather armor right there, very detailed. I like it. The painting, amazing. This one's a bit bland. I'm probably going to be touching him up a bit. Yeah. Uh, zombie. It's not too detailed, but... Eh. What do you expect from a zombie? Uh, there's the Reaper Bones, um, they're a bit wobbly, uh, but they don't get off their bases like these do. And you can, if you're a skilled painter, uh, go for it. Like, I'm not a good painter, that's why I chose this one, because I actually spent time with this one going for every single little detail. So, please in the comments, put in the comments which one won. Dungeon Dragons, Pathfinder, or Reaper Bones. And if you like to see another comparison video, uh but next it well if you want to see another video like this comparing the minifigs or opening minifigs. Wait, why am I calling minifigs? That's Lego. Miniatures. There we go. Huh. Getting my words all mixed up. Uh, please say in the comments if you want to see a comparison of the unpainted ones of Dungeon Dragons and Pathfinder and Reaper Bones. Or another just box opening like these because... I could have gotten the Crown of Fangs and uh, the, uh, I forgot the Dungeon Dragons one. But overall, this is miniatures. I gotta go glue these pieces back onto their bases. And this is Dark Wolf, and I'm signing out.